It is the second day of our trip. Welcome to the Totori Sand Dunes. It looks like a desert, kind of. A lot of people call it the desert of Japan, but it's definitely not a desert because it gets way too much rain here to be, well, technically a desert. In fact, I think we had more rain yesterday than a desert gets in a year. But this is hard to climb. When it collapses. Well, let's go try. <laughs> they have camels here. Not to ride, just to sit on. I think maybe if the sand wasn't wet, you might be able to ride them, but because of the conditions today, you can only sit on the camel or stand beside it and get a picture taken. <laughs> Lilia has paid her 650 yen. He's pretty. Okay, must take a picture now. You're all done? Oh, and he's fertilizing the dunes. Oh, Duncan, next. You want to take a picture? Take a bunch. Well, he took three pictures. Is that enough? No. No? He's very cute, but I just noticed he's got a ring through his nose. Did it. <laughs> Come on slowly, you'd be good. What's <laughs> <laughs> They are enthusiastic and have already just taken off. I really don't know anything about these sand dunes. Don't know why they're here. I mean, well, why is sand anywhere? But I mean, why is there a big dune here? I don't know. This is the only place in Japan where the public has access to large sand dunes like this. There is one more place in Japan where there are dunes like this. And it's either a little bigger or a little smaller. I don't remember which one my wife just said in the car. But that one is owned by the Japanese Self-Defense Force and they use it for practice, probably artillery, whatnot. So the general public cannot go in there and probably really wouldn't want to if they're being shelled. Holy crap, they're fast. Kai's already at the bottom of the... Oh my goodness, he's fast. Is he actually going to make it up there? He's going for it. I think I will too. So fast. I got a picture. There's Duncan, there's Kai, Nina's there. These kids are fast. Kumiko and I are much, much slower. She's already halfway up. Well, two thirds. Oh, and he's crawling. Oh, I'm doing that. I am doing that. I won't be able to take any video of me while I'm doing that, but I am doing that. I might trip and slide all the way back down and land in the water. If I fall, take a video. Kai made it. Duncan made it. Ah, it's blurry. There we go. There, there at the top. Oh, me next. This this is not going to translate to video well. This is so much steeper than I thought it was. It's also smaller than I thought it was. Huh. Tried to call Duncan and say, take a video. But I think he left his phone in the car. Well, you know what? We can do this one-handed right. Climb with one hand and hold the camera with the other. I mean, I'm taking small steps. I'm already halfway there. It hasn't even hit the steep part yet. Oh, gee, whoa, this. Okay, slow down. Walk in other people's footprints. Oh, I'm sinking in with every step. Oh, gee. Those boys uh, have youth in their, at their advantage. Oh my goodness. Every footstep slides down half the distance. So in effect, I'm climbing twice the height. Yeah? Do you have your phone?
No, but it is really tiring. Yeah, I know. Is it dangerous? No. It's not dangerous. It's just tiring. But Where I did want video. If I slipped and fell all the way back down, I wanted a video of that. <laughs> no, I've already answered you three times. But when you fall down. If you fall down, yeah. Stand soft. Hi. Hi. There's mommy, hi. <laughs> Looks like a little ant. All the way down there. <sighs> he doesn't look tired. They don't look tired. Who was complaining that they were tired a second ago? Me? <sighs> well, yeah, you too, but so were they. Oh, geez, I'm gonna fall down. I'm gonna fall down. <laughs> Made this far, I feel obligated to do a 360 degree panorama. <laughs> Including people I don't know. <sighs> They're already this far up. Huh. They didn't take the gentlest way, but they didn't take the steepest either. A panorama of the inland portion. The camels are over there. Nope, over. There. Not enough drink. What? My head hurts. Not enough drink. Not enough drink? Not of anything. Oh, to drink, not to. The grandparents stayed put towards the engines. They didn't want to haul themselves all the way over here. And I don't blame them. I barely made it. Well, that's not true. I made it. I'm just. How steep is this thing? It's fairly steep. It, it doesn't feel steep when you're climbing up, though. Uh... It doesn't feel as bad. But every step, you know, if you raise your foot up. 50 centimeters, it slides back down 25. Uh -huh. So you've basically climbed twice the distance unless you can find some hard pack, which I did. Some of the time I managed to step on other people's steps and it was already packed down, so that made it a little bit easier. Oh, so I mean, it looks big enough, but it doesn't take so long to get from there to here. When you're looking though, it looks like it should take longer, but. Where's Satsuki? It's not so bad, Satsuki's already up. Ah, Satsuki, yahoo. My kids are already down there playing. I think I'll go join them. Even though coming back is going to be exhausting. I think I'm going to take a fairly gentle slope down. Kumiko and Lilia don't want to come. Actually, the down is not the problem. It's the back up. Down is easy. Down, you just, you know, give yourself over to gravity and you're there eventually. Faster than, well, the way I'm going. I wish it was dry and soft because it's fun, if it was a little steeper, to jump in the air and then sink down. I've done it with gravel piles, large gravel piles. You jump in the air and, you know, you land and fly way further than you normally could without hurting yourself, but because it's a loose gravel pile, you think, oh, the rocks are gonna hurt, but you actually sink in and decelerate you, and it's a lot of fun. And I am actually sliding. Whoo! <sighs> Snow, oh, my feet, my shoes are gonna be so full of sand. Oh. This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> Well, no, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Almost to the flat, almost done, almost, almost. Okay, we can decelerate now. And my shoes are full of sand. <laughs> and unfortunately, when you get down to the beach, there is the garbage and detritus you will find along just, well, most coastlines. Thought so, those are my three. Oh, it looks like Kai's going in the water. Well, at least he's gonna touch his feet in the water. Don't get your shoes wet, Nina! I said don't get your shoes wet, Nina! Left feet wet! Left foot is wet? Oh. Wet! Okay. Well, Kai at least took his shoes off. Oh, How oh. cold is it? Jeez. Kai, your butt's wet! <laughs> your butt just got wet! You not sticking a foot in? It might be one foot. There's actually less sand in my shoes than I thought there was going to be. Okay, I'm ready for this. Here we go. This is going to be cold. This is going to be... Not happen. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> that is cold. That is cold. That is cold. Oh, hello, hello, Steve. That is cold. And Kai has buried himself in the sand, partly. What? Uh, that's... Shikoku, we're still in Honshu. Oh. Going back up, Duncan? No. I'm not. What? I'm going to mommy. Up there. 
I think I'll leave my shoes off and go back up. Oh, enjoying your wet foot? Huh? Enjoying your wet foot? Yeah, that's not wet. Oh, okay. It. It's cold, isn't it? Ask Ty. I'm that's done. Sick. I'm done going in the water. I've done it. I'm cold. That's it. Hi. Yeah. Hey, are you enjoying wet feet? Yeah. Cool. Panorama from down here is good too. Although it's just water, 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 cityscape sand. Sun. Sand, 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 daughter, sand, people that are all side back to the sand. I don't know, if you get up here in a boat, you'd almost think you're coming into a desert. Except the sand's too wet right now. Huh. He is fast, he's already up there. So Kai, huh? can we take the easy path up this time? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna take the steep path, huh? Yeah. You go ahead then. Someone was walking up here in heels. <sighs> Talk about a bad idea. Not horribly high, but big enough. I chose a different path. I got it before Kai. Didn't think I would. There's Kiwi going down again. I can't hold the camera steady. <laughs> we leave most of the photos up to Kimiko because she takes better pictures than I do. And if I don't surprise her and get her in the film or in the video, she won't want to be in it. Ooh, whoa, I'm really sinking in. That was fun. There he comes. Kumiko's taking a slower road. Actually, coming down that was really fun. Feet sinking into the soft sand. It was great. I recommend it. You know, it's a lot more fun than I thought just big piles of sand would be. That was actually really fun here. But the wind right now is pretty cold. It's March. What do you expect, right? Actually, I think about four or five days before we came, there it was like zero degrees at night here. So being 10 right now is uh, a lot better. Think about your professional shoot going on over there. Wedding photos in the sand. I think I'm worn out. Time to say bye bye to the sand because oh, I think that's enough. I mean, after this, there's just some. Shopping, the usual kind of uh, omiyage shops and whatnot, and a sand museum. We might go there. Not really sure what that little ropeway is for. But for now, I'd say click thumbs up, questions, comments down below, and hit the subscribe button, because as always, it's free. But today, special discount, extra free. I'm Mark Visser, aka Sparkus, and I hope to see you back here for another I Live in Japan very soon.